Dallas police officer Darren Burks, who was fatally shot in what the police chief called an execution, was remembered Saturday as a hero during a funeral service in Dallas. A hero who made the ultimate sacrifice the grief is overwhelming, said Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia during the nearly two-hour-long service that was often marked by applause for Burke's mother, Sherry Jeffrey, and laughter at memories of Burke's. He loved me every day, he didn't wait until my birthday or various holidays, Jeffrey said as she stood next to a portrait of Burke's in his uniform, adding that her son texted her daily. Darren loved everybody. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson said Burks was tragically taken, targeted, because he was a police officer. Burks was a hero with a spirit of service and selflessness, Johnson said. Bagpipes played and mourners streamed past his open coffin that was draped with a U.S. flag and uniformed police officers at either end until the casket was closed for the service. Burks, 46, was sitting in his patrol car August 29 when he was fatally shot by 30-year-old Corey Cobb Bay, who spoke briefly with Burks and recorded the encounter before pulling out a handgun and shooting Burks, according to police. I know the word ambush has been thrown around, that's not what happened here, Garcia said following the shooting. Officer Burks was executed. To serve and to protect all of us. So today, we mourn the hero that we lost, but we also celebrate the life that he led and the impact that he made on so many people. So, as our city moves forward and we his spirit of service and selflessness had to be taught. It had to be cultivated from a young age. And we owe his mother and this family our deepest gratitude for instilling those values and raising such a great young man. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Jeffrey. Thank you for what you did for this city and for this community. My son honored me every day. My son did not wait to my birthday. He didn't wait to Christmas. He didn't wait to New Year. He didn't wait to Easter. He didn't wait to Mother's Day. My son honored me every day. My son would text me twice a day. Sometimes he texts me in the morning, he texts me in the evening. Sometimes he texts me when he getting off from work and he say, Mama, I'm on my way home. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky held talks Dutch Freedom Party leader and right-wing populist Geert Wilders on Saturday on the sidelines of the Ambrosetti Forum in Italy. Before they sat down for the talks, Zelensky thanked Wilders and the Dutch people for their warm support of Ukraine and its refugees during the course of its war with Russia. In response, Wilder stressed to Zelensky the importance of continued media coverage of Kiev's fight against the ongoing Russian invasion. The Ambrosetti Economic Forum is being held in Cernabio, Lake Como. Many times, and what you said yesterday, I just told your staff that people should see what is happening almost daily because it's mostly out of the news in, in, in the uh, West, and that's that's that people get used to it, and that's not how it should be. President, good, good to, to see, see you. you. Great to see you, sir. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much. How are you? I'm fine. I'm, yes. Yeah, thanks so much. And I know that our people, um, yes, our refugees from the very beginning of, of the war, they had a very warm um, hosting from your people. So we are thankful for, for everything. We have very good relations with your country. From, um, yes. I was from the Kremlin, it was still Ukrainian, to Odessa. To the... um, well, um, First, let me say that we are um, of support uh, for Ukraine and for your fight. Once again, I saw your country many times. And what you said yesterday, I just told your staff that uh, people should see what is happening uh, almost daily because it's mostly out of the news in, in, in the uh, West. And that's, that's, that's people get used to it and that's not how it should be.